Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to show you how I easily painted all of these walls. Everyone comes over and says, how did you paint after you put on that trim? And this is how right here, the sprayer. This is an essential tool to have if you're gonna be doing this kind of work. You, uh, it's very hard to hand paint this and get a nice clean finish. And as you can see here, I have a beautiful finish, nice and evenly spread. And that's all because of this gun right here. Awesome sprayer. I'll show you a little bit about it. First of all, um, you don't have to thin your paints or anything to use this. Uh, you just plug it in, you put your paint in here, and you fill it up, and then you're ready to spray. Very easy to use and clean. And one of the things I like about this particular brand is right here you have, would be um, a vertical spray line. So the way this is adjusted, you can loosen this, and you can change it to horizontal, Tighten that buck up and now you have a fan spray going horizontal. So it all depends on what motion you're doing, up and down or left and right. And that's what gives you um, a different spray. So I like that this has that alternative. Another thing about this one that's nice is it's very easy to clean. And don't be intimidated by these, they're very easy to use. Uh, this is the main pump right here. The rest of this comes apart and is cleaned very easily. So after you use it, you take this out, you rinse everything with water, that comes out, the front comes off, and your nozzles come out and everything. And you don't have to be intimidated by all this because once you get this all clean, this only fits two ways. There's a groove on here, and it only fits two different ways, horizontal or vertical like I showed you. And so you just pop that right back on, and then this only fits one way too. So this would be the vertical spray that pops back on. You tighten that down and you're good to go. And then you would just put this back in, put this tube back on. And this is a nice large tub that holds a lot of paint. Some of these guns don't have a very big one. And then when you twist and lock this on, you're ready to go again. This is your lock, there's your trigger, and this is even a hanger in case you're working on a ladder if you're doing outside work. I do plan on using this in the future outside, but this is a great gun. It did everything you see here. Gives it this nice, beautiful finish, and all you have to do is, of course, mask off the floor and you know, mask off the areas you don't want to spray and paint. Um, that's the most time-consuming part, and then the painting is quick and easy and effortless, and the finish is unmatched.